In this tutorial, we will discuss how to nest a pattern. Nesting a pattern can be useful whenever you want to fill empty space in a pattern. I've already stitched this pattern onto my quilt top, but I want to nest the same pattern into this empty area. To do this, go to Tablet and Pencil, Nest. We need to tell Butler where the bottom line of our quilt area is. The on-screen instructions will prompt you to move the machine to the lower left corner of the quilt area and then press OK. Next, mark where the needle is on the quilt top with fabric chalk or something similar. Move the machine to the lower right corner and repeat. When prompted, roll the quilt so that you have the space to stitch the next pattern. It is common to roll the quilt so that the marks made earlier are now the top of the available quilt top on the quilt frame. Once the quilt has been rolled, move the machine to the left mark and press OK. Repeat for the right mark. After you have selected each of the marks on the rolled quilt, this preview will appear. Move your needle so that the crosshairs showing the needle position are over any point on the pattern. Then press the green check mark. The preview screen will change again. At the top here, you should see a preview of the pattern that we have already stitched. Using the chalk marks that we input earlier, Butler has projected how much of the previously stitched pattern is visible. The part that is not visible is rolled onto the quilt bar. The pattern box and patterns shown below need to be nested with the top pattern. Move your machine on the frame to control the placement of the to be nested pattern. When its placement is acceptable, press the green check mark. The pattern is now ready to be stitched as normal. Butler will now nest the pattern. In the next tutorial, we will cover how to record free motion quilting and save it as a digitized pattern.